the second weekend lecture series that I attended online was advanced anatomy. Now, I hadn't even had basic anatomy, but I thought, you're going to have to take advanced anatomy anyway, so just get in there, get familiar with it. And what I learned was that anatomy is important to have a grasp of it so for your cueing safety so cueing when you're when you're writing your scripts for your yoga classes and you're cueing your students to move from one position to the next a knowledge of anatomy is important so that you can lead your students through that safely and we we were led through a short embodied yoga practice which was made us more aware of our different body parts. Um, I love that. It was a lovely 15 minutes of mindful breathing and stretching. Um, some tips that we were given is to ask for ask your students what injuries they have before class. Um, new students or as a new teacher, you can introduce yourself and create a space that so they can share concerns and needs for the class, including injuries. And if you're teaching online, you can invite students to send you a private message in the chat so they don't have to necessarily um, talk about their personal injuries in front of others. And if someone were to come to you with a specific um, request and you're not confident or haven't been trained or know about it, when in doubt, refer it out. So always build a list of practitioners for future recommendations. I love these tips and I look forward to the basic anatomy class.